I was wondering if I could tell you something. Would you do me a favor and feel your feet on the floor and your ass in the chair? Would you take a deep breath with me like a hippie? Yesterday when we were leaving the library, we were going into the parking lot. We left the elevator and you said something about whether or not you're a girl. I wanted to tell you that you are a girl. You are a woman. You are my favorite woman. You have everything I love in a woman. You care, you nurture me, you're brilliant, you're so creative. And when I hug you, I am hugging a woman. That's the best feeling in the world because I feel safe. You are my favorite woman and you are so beautiful. You don't owe beauty to me or the world or anyone. But you are beautiful. You're on the earth for great things, to love and to make art and to make noise, to feel pleasure, to care, to have fun, to use your gifts. Not sure if beautiful, being beautiful is why Mother God put you here, but you are beautiful, your smile, your body, your style. I love the clothes you choose. And you have the most beautiful hair in the world. I love you for so many reasons, but I would love you just for your hair alone. You are a good person. Inside of you, <clears throat> is a goodness that's all your own. It's a unique goodness. And even if you make mistakes, <clears throat> even if for your survival, you do something wrong, it's okay. I'm glad that you make mistakes because it means you're taking risks and trying things. And I'm glad for your survival, so. Thank you for making mistakes. I love your mistakes as part of you. And there's a part of you inside that is just good. And the goodness can't be touched. The goodness, nothing and no one could ever interfere with that goodness. Also, what parts you have, any parts you have, doesn't determine your womanness at all. You could have any kind of dick, any kind of vulva, both, anything in between. We don't need to define that. We don't need to define it or defend it. Your parts are only my business if you make them my business. Your gender is sacred and is not determined by biology. I don't give a fuck about biology. And you teach me about gender all the time. You teach me about God all the time. And I think that God is love and gender is love the way you do it. I had thought gender was a scam. I usually say that gender is a scam, but the way you do gender is part of how you give to the world and it's gorgeous. The way you do gender is gorgeous. So thank you for modeling trans liberation to me and everyone in the world every day. I feel safer when I go out in the world with you because I know that you're showing everyone that their narrow view of what's possible isn't real. You're blowing everyone's minds. It's an honor to be near you as you blow everyone's minds. And the, there's something better than the narrow binary. We could do better than that and you do better than that every day. So much more is possible.
and you show me that every day so thank you and thank you for hearing my message I know it's a bit much but I'm a bit much and maybe you could hear this message if you ever forget how great you are and no matter what happens today or tomorrow or years from now this truth that I share with you is real and you can always come back to this truth because it's it's from me but it's independent of me also it's just a fact your gorgeousness and your unconditional validity is just a fact there's so many ways to be a woman and you do it the best so thank you for that and I love you <laughs>